the cutscenes in this game were always the highlight for me when I was a kid. Because I would always watch them, and it's pretty much like a, um, like a lost episode, almost. Um, I remember, like, that was just the thing that I would do. I would just pop this game in after I beat it, and I would just, um, re-watch all the FMV cutscenes. So here's the thing that makes this like Dark Tomorrow. To handcuff a thug and prevent him from getting back up, press the Y button. So you have to do this to every single enemy in the game. You have to make sure that you, um, you know, that you are confining every single enemy and handcuffing them to the ground so that they don't do anything. What the hell is this music? Also, how is that guy reloading so quickly? Is there like, yeah, there's like kick moves. How does the combat work in this game? There's drop kicks, and there's pounch. Doesn't seem very complicated. Wait, did I come from that way or this way? It's like old timey music. What is going on? I don't remember this at all, but then again, I haven't played this. When the hell did Arkham Asylum come out? I feel like that was almost ten years ago at this point. So it's been a while since I played this. Obviously, Batman is a man of few words in this game. He's very rarely saying anything. It's like Phantom Pain. He only speaks when, uh... He absolutely needs to. At least your grapple has a pretty good reach. No more clowning around! Oh, I guess that's... Okay, yeah, I guess I could batarang people. And get their guns out of their hands, because I was like, why am I just getting shot all the time? Apparently I can... This control's awful, and I need to figure out if there's an option to fix this. Um... Yes, please. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, that is so much better. Up is up and down is down. That's how it should be in every single video game, unless it's a flight sim. Flight Sims is the only place where it's actually appropriate. I will say that even though this game has gameplay mechanics very similar to Dark Tomorrow, this is like... This is that concept done correctly. I don't remember which one came out first. I think Dark Tomorrow came out first. But I can't be certain of that. Does this guy... have a gun? Now that I have infinite everything, I could just do this, <laughs> which is like, that's like the Lego Batman, uh, way of doing things. Uh, that's not what I wanted. First try. Although, I don't know exactly why you can do that, because, like, when you really think about it, can't you just, like, run away from these guys, and you won't have to deal with them again? It's only a problem if they get up while you're in the same area, which we're not. Camera return to its default behind the back position. I've been trying to do that, and that doesn't seem to actually work. Yikes, I almost just died there. Stop that, you. There seems to be no, like, block break, which is kind of dumb. You just kind of have to wait. Which is bad, in my opinion. I think there should always be a block break. So I didn't even need to come over here. Awesome. I can't tell if there's no ground here, or if it's just like a weird color. Oh, thank god he grabs onto ledges. You know what? The glide is good here. Like, the glide was really good in Batman Begins. I think that was like the first time where they actually took the time to make like a cape that worked. Uh, but the, the glide is good in this game, and it's fun when you get to use it. I like how he takes the, um... The bullets, he just kind of shrugs them off. He's like, ah oh, shit, I got shot again, Alfred. 
you're taking a trip to the bone. I'm about to murder a man, Alfred. Punch him off a building. Alfred, he didn't die. Now, how the hell is that guy getting, like, farther than us? Should I glide over there? Is there, like, a thing I could do? Yeah, no, that's a death. I'm sorry, Alfred. Tell everyone I'm sorry. This gorgoyle here seems to be the thing that I want to use. But there still doesn't seem to be... Okay, I just... I completely bungled it last time. I went, like, on the wrong area. Yeah, see that right there where Batman just stopped walking? I didn't do that. I still was pressing the same buttons. I'm so glad there's no architecture like this in the real world. This is like out of the Schumacher movies. <laughs> this isn't what you think, Batman. Oh no! We've got a mini boss! Why do I have a net? Uh, I was just gonna try and battering him to death. Alright, it'd be nice if you could just stop doing that. Look at this exciting combat that even the Arkham games wishes that it could it could pull off. This is pathetic. Yeah, I swear to god the game is better than that. Like, this game gets really good. Oh, let me... hand -coof him. The Joker's after you. He's got... he took my... Toby? Yes, Toby! My son! He took my son! He says he'll kill him unless I can pay him five million! I don't have that kind of money! Are you sure he has the boy? He sent me this. Said if I didn't believe him, he would send... would... <laughs> Take this. Press the button if you're ever in trouble. Well, that was rude. So that's it. I guess that was a level. Episode 2, level 4. What? Episode 2, level 4? Rooftop battle? What the hell? That's weird. Any evidence that Mary could come up with five million dollars? No way, that's insane. Joker's insane, but not stupid. He must know something about Mary we don't. So what do we do? We play along until we get to the bottom of this. The transmitter you gave Mary last night, it's coming from Gotham Bridge. Right. Wow, these are like old, like classic Resident Evil style cutscenes. Barely anyone's moving. They're extremely rigid. When the hell did this game come out? I want to say like 2003. Isn't it funny, like the older games are, like this era, the GameCube era, when you really look at these games, like I think this, this game was released like a year or so before Resident Evil 4, and that just doesn't make sense to me. Like the huge leap between these games, I know they're not connected, but still, it's kind of funny to think about. I want to kill that guy. What do you say? I guess that's what I would say if I was a goon, too. This is just how I'm going to beat people in this game. Yo, drop your gun. That's what the batarangs are for. I'm gonna not exploit this the entire time. Because the only reason that I gave myself the infinite, like, batarangs and stuff is just to make this not go, like, really bad. But I'm, I'm gonna not abuse that stuff. That's why I didn't give myself, like, infinite health and stuff like that, because that would have been really cheap. Whereas this, I think it's kind of okay. In other games, like Arkham Asylum and stuff, that's not a thing. You don't have to conserve batarangs. How did I get that badly hurt? What the 
hell? Doesn't look like there's any place for me to grapple up to. Where does it want me to go? Really? That doesn't look like I should be able to do that. Alright, I guess there is that box over there. But, like, look at this. All this stuff's blocking this stuff. I can't jump over there. That's why I didn't try that until just now. Holy crap. Good lord. These games make me look dumb. Sidle across that Batman. Then, my dear, you're about five million dollars short of motherhood. <laughs> I love that one goon. You're about five million short of motherhood! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a great goon. I'd love to, like, voice a goon in a video game. I'm pressing the wrong button to block. Specifically, I'd love to, like, voice a Batman goon. I'm sure no one grows up saying that, like, I want to be a super popular voice actor, I want to voice Batman. I'm just like, no, I want to voice a goon. Like, just some guy that Batman beats up. Like, not even a major villain. Isn't there a way to heal yourself in this game, or am I thinking of Dark Tomorrow? I think I'm thinking of Dark Tomorrow again. I'm always thinking about Dark Tomorrow, that game's amazing. My favorite video game. This part's pretty cool. I like this part a lot. Let's, uh... Let's electric batarang this guy. Okay, so that doesn't really... That's not a good idea. Oh, did he die? No. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I love that. That's my new favorite thing. I know I said I wasn't going to abuse it, but it's just too fun sometimes. I can't not do it. Thank you for the health. I'm going to need that. Who's out there? Who's out there? You can't even comprehend that it's Batman. Like, you're in Gotham. You're working with the Joker. I wonder who it could be. Is it Batman? Nah. It's a Green Lantern! Man, this combat is exceptional. I guess if you're close to an enemy and you press the jump button, you kick. I guess that makes sense. Wait, did I not... No, who cares? I was gonna say, did I not handcuff that other guy? But I don't really care. Because I'm about to exit this area. So this part's actually a lot of fun. I, I like this part. This is a... Technically, it's a boss battle with the Joker here. Uh, I always really liked this boss. I thought the, the song was cool, and I liked the concept for the boss, too. What we can do here is we can actually get some pot shots off at Joker from there, but what he's gonna try and do to us is he's gonna try and smash us with the the wrecking ball. I think what we want to do is we can get him to hit these little pillars here, if I'm not mistaken. And then we wail on him. I think it's a good Joker boss, you know, it's something that's hard to pull off. Look out, Mary! <laughs> Toby or not Toby? That is the question. Catch the Joker or save the boy? Aye, there's the rub. No! Batman, save him! <laughs> You know, good Joker bosses are hard to do. The Arkham series never really did that quite good enough. Just the, the Titan Joker was a lazy way to do it. 
So having you fight him like that is actually pretty good, and I, I like that boss, even though it's pathetically easy. But then again, it is the first boss. Noise. Careful, Holly. You'll kill him. But, but nothing. You're my henchwench. You catch him, I kill him. Less wench, more hench. You molly coddling little twit. Nobody kills the bat but me. Like so. Oh my goodness! Another boss with the with the Joker. This time one on one. This is going to be difficult. Yeah, so he'll do that. That's like his only annoying attack. To escape from a situation. Okay. That's pretty standard for any video game, really. But it doesn't seem to be working. I mean, it's the Joker. We're fighting the Joker. It's not that hard. You just punch him. Uh, Harley! A little help here, slugger! That Harley won't kill for you, can't kill without you. I'll say this is not one of Batman's brightest moments. Like, this whole thing was very clearly a Harley Quinn the entire time. So I don't know how he got confused. I just don't understand how he got fooled and bamboozled here. He got bat-boozled. You're not helping, Harley. Harley. No can do, Mr. J. Send me a postcard from Arkham. Yeah, turn the wrong way, Batman. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, the Wii hates these cutscenes. I wish I could say I was the one doing that in game, but the game did that for you. Give me your hand. Seems like old times, eh, Bats? You, me, a vat of chemicals. <laughs> You're slipping, Joker. Oh, oops. All right, bats. You win. Oh. <laughs> But what about the free fall gameplay? We've been doing that the whole game. We could go save him, right? Oh. She gonna kill herself? That's dark. Whee! <laughs> you have, I think, too much control over Batman in those sections. Like, he controls too good. Eh, 
wasn't so bad. That's a fun level. You know, I, I like the bosses with the Joker. Those are fun. I like the music there. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the Joker's dead. How about that? <laughs>